Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorns. Capricorns, this is your January 2021 20, reading. This is what you can expect for the month of January. Whether you or someone else or someone in your energy field, this is what you can expect. What chronic your energy? Oh, I want to say too, for Capricorns, um... I wanted to, I was waiting on something to do y'all reading. It didn't work out how I wanted it to work out. So basically, I had to do it anyway. Because, you know, y'all was the last um, sign I had to do. So basically what I want to say is Capricorn, you or somebody else, possibly you Capricorn, in the month of January... You might have to, because to a certain extent, Capricorns, we like things to a certain extent to be perfect. Like, we want stuff in order. And because we're stubborn, most Capricorns, um, we can be stubborn. And we think everything has to go a certain way. Um, we don't like to be flexible, especially when we plan something. We expect it to go exactly how we planned it. And sometimes you have to, especially when you in service, when you're doing a service for somebody else. When you, um, yeah, when you're doing a service for somebody else, sometimes you have to deny yourself of even who you are and how you do and operate to appease the people that you're servicing. That's what I want to say. So basically, that's what I had to do because it's like I did everybody else reading, and I was waiting. I was waiting on something, and it is it didn't happen how I expected it. So to be fair to the collective, to the Capricorns, I'm still doing y'all reading today. I shouldn't even kept y'all waiting this long, but I had to put my own agenda aside, and to be fair. To get y'all reading done. Because what I wanted, how I wanted to do y'all reading and what I was waiting for, that could have took a whole nother week. Week. And it's like, you can't always do it like that. When you servicing other people in whatever type of field, it can't always go how we want it to go. So anyway, enough of that. I'm going to jump right in. The first card that came out <clears throat> was this Queen of Wands. This is fire energy. The Queen of Wands is normally um, the sign of Leo. Don't have to be. Um, Capricorns, this could be you or a fire sign. Or Capricorns, you could have fire in your chart. What clarified the Queen of Wands was this Nine of Cups. So, this is somebody's wish fulfillment. Capricorn, you or somebody else could possibly be taking some type of action. And it's your wish fulfillment. Or, like I was saying, you could take some type of action to where you have to leave your wish fulfillment behind. Because this came out like this. So, this Queen of Wands... Is looking the other way and her the wish fulfillment is behind her. So, like I said, what was going on with me in collective, you might run into this scenario too in January. You might have to take some type of action in the opposite direction or the opposite way of how you really wanted to do something. It's still going to get done. It's just not going to get done how you wanted it to get done. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. When I ask for more information <clears throat> about the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, this Emperor came out. So this could be Capricorn. This could be you or somebody else. This could be a husband. This could be some type of business. This could be a judge, a lawyer. 
a father, your father, your kid's father. Or if you were male Capricorn, this could be you. What clarified the emperor was the three of wands. So what I'm getting from this is <clears throat> Capricorns in January. You either want to, somebody, this queen of wands want to take action towards this emperor. And this emperor could have been possibly waiting for you or on you, on this queen of wands, this action. Or Capricorn, if you this queen of wands, you might have to take action to take control of a situation to see your ships come in. Because whatever this is going on down here at this bottom with this Queen of Wands and this Emperor. Whatever action that's being taken, Capricorn, you or somebody else is going to bring a Four of Wands situation. Because you got Three of Wands here and you got the Queen of Wands. That's Four of Wands. So it's like this Queen of Wands got her back turned to this wish fulfillment. But she still gets some type of stability, some type of whatever this four of wands could be. It's still, whether it's a commitment, a relationship, a new job, a home, a marriage, whatever this four of wands is, it's just telling you, Capricorn, you or somebody else that you're going to get it. It's just not going to come how you expected it to come or how you planned it to come, come, you know, manifest. But let me clarify this Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. And Capricorns, I want to tell y'all, um, it might be a video too. My video might cut off. So y'all might have two videos for the month of January. Clarify this Queen of Wands. And that's too many. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Okay. I'm going to put this one back. Lion and gavel. Lion is time to act. Gavel is involvement with the law. So this could be some type of earthly law or some type of divine law like karmic. Something that's karmic, karma, and y'all got lion. So this queen of wands. <sighs> time to act. Involvement with the law. Yeah. Yeah. What I think this is, is Capricorns, you or somebody else, whoever is in this Queen of Wands energy. Like I said, somebody wants something. They want to take action towards something, to do something. But the Nine of Cups is here. There's some type of wish fulfillment going on. Somebody wants some type of wish fulfillment, contentment. They want to get their way in something. But it's like you have to leave. The wish fulfillment is how you wanted it done. Not the, not the actual getting it done, but it's how you wanted it to get done. And... It's passion here because this lion, that's like Leo. That's still Leo, that lion time to act. So it's like you want to take action. Somebody want to take action towards the wish fulfillment. But the gavel is here. Involvement with the law. So this could even be somebody wants something. Somebody could be in some type of dispute with somebody. Or some type of disagreement or something. And... Their wish fulfillment could be something that's negative. Because this time to act is looking at this nine of cups. But this gavel with the law, this involvement with the law is here. So it's like somebody got to leave their wish fulfillment behind the way they wanted to do something, which could possibly be against the law or against, you know, divinity. And they got to do it. A different way. 
They got to do it a different way. Involvement with the law. Let me see. Let me see. Involve, clarify, Gavin. I want to know if this earthly law or divinity. Clear or karma. Yeah, these two came out. Number nine. The birds signify diamonds, fortune, and fierce enemies. And then number 20. The lilies forecast a happy life. Yeah. I think this is the divinity. Divine, um, like karma. Because it's like the way I'm looking at it. Because these two cards clarified that gavel. It's like Capricorn, you or somebody else got a decision to make. And it either can cause dire misfortune and you might create some enemies. Or if you do it the right way, you can have a happy life. So it's like the universe telling you or somebody else, I know how you want to do it. But if you do it that way, if you act on your wish fulfillment, like I said, could possibly be something negative and go involve some type of law. If you act on your wish fulfillment and act upon something that's probably negative, it's going to be a dire misfortune. But if you deny yourself and turn your back against acting upon this wish fulfillment, you can get a happy life. So it's like somebody got to make a decision. Somebody got a decision to make. Because whatever your wish fulfillment is, that whoever this queen of wands is, whatever their wish fulfillment is, is not good. Because it's a dire misfortune and fierce enemies. It's like whatever somebody's thinking about doing, they want to do passionately, is going to create fierce enemies. Or you're going to become someone's enemy. And this gavel is here. And gavel is number nine, this um, misfortune, and number 20. The lilies forecast a happy life. So somebody here got a decision to make. And like I said before I started the reading, somebody might have to do, have to deny themselves. Capricorn, if this is you, you possibly got to deny yourself or your temper. Probably. Because it's a time to act that lion. Capricorn, if you got fire in your chart, somebody probably could have pissed you off about something. And your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment is to hit them upside the head or something. Do something you're not supposed to do. But if you deny yourself of acting on this and ignore it, turn your back on your wish fulfillment and do something else, it forecasts a happy life. Let me clarify this emperor. Because this queen of wands looking right at this emperor. Clarify the emperor. Clarify the emperor. Let me take this one right here. Oh, it's two again. Okay. Bird flying. News is on the way and not. Unsuccessful plans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... This emperor, I think Capricorn could possibly be you or somebody else. <sighs> this could probably this emperor could probably be somebody else. And this could possibly be somebody trying to provoke somebody to do something. It's like this emperor is trying to provoke this queen of wands to do something that can possibly involve the law karma because this emperor is news is on the way and unsuccessful plans and it's like this emperor is waiting for this emperor is waiting for some type of news concerning some unsuccessful plans yeah mm-hmm yeah this emperor Capricorns if you a female watching this this emperor could be one of your your not one of but this emperor could be your child's father this emperor could be an ex-husband this emperor can be an ex because it's like this emperor 
is waiting on news about some unsuccessful plan. But what could possibly happen if this Queen of Wands do the right thing, this Emperor could get some news that their plans was unsuccessful. Or this could also be whoever is in this Queen of Wands energy takes the proper action to take control and avoid unsuccess some plans being unsuccessful. Is either way or both. Because it's like this Queen of Wands and this Emperor is staring right at each other face to face. So this is either the same person taking control of a situation and avoiding some plans, spoiling, getting spoiled. Or this Emperor is a separate person and this Emperor is like trying to provoke this Queen of Wands. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead up to the top. Because um, Capricorn with crowns your energy is high honor. Now this high honor card can be a victory. Like the six of wands. This high honor could be a victory. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. A victory. High honor. Yeah, somebody overcame something. Yeah. And whatever it was, it didn't come easy. Because it was some type of war, whether mental, physical, emotional. It was some type of combat. Yeah. And somebody got a victory, Capricorn, you or somebody else. What clarified high honor was the three of wands. There go this three of wands. Somebody waiting. The three of wands clarified high honor. What clarified the three of wands was this two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. So like I said, that emperor, if it's a different person, this person is waiting. This person is somebody is waiting for somebody to make a decision. This person is waiting for somebody to make a decision. And Capricorn, if you this Queen of Wands, somebody is like waiting for you to mess something up. They waiting for you to do it. They waiting. They waiting. Or like I said, if this Emperor and this Queen of Wands is the same person, Capricorn, you could be juggling what to do. Should I act on my wish fulfillment? And I know my wish fulfillment is not something good. Or should I just deny myself and do the right thing to get what I want? What When I asked for more information about that Hyana card, the Seven of Cups came out. This card can mean, this Seven of Cups can mean some type of confusion. And I'm going to say for this reading, this is confusion. And why I say confusion is because in this card, it's smoky. All this drama, all this stuff going on, all that smoke back there. So, I'm pretty sure them soldiers got that, that smoke in their eyes. They can't see. You know, they still, you know, they still in combat, but it's confusion a little bit going on because that all that smoke there. So this seven of cups is some type of confusion. But what clarified that seven of cups was this ace of wands. So somebody could be possibly juggling the idea while they're waiting they probably juggling the idea if they're even going to get this ace of wands or not because it's confusion it's confusion the seven of cups is here it's, co it's some confusion so somebody is possibly even trying to make up their mind they're not sure it's some type of uncertainty here It's some type of uncertainty here. Clarify high honor. Clarify 
clarify how y'all know. Yeah, some rice. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Yeah, so Capricorn, like I said, this could this Queen of Wands and this Emperor is either the same person, and you make the right choice, and you gonna get this Hyana. And you're going to get this new creative idea. You're going to get the new venture. You're going to get a fresh start. Or this Queen of Wands and this Emperor is two separate people. And this Emperor, Capricorn, whether it's you or somebody else, this Emperor is trying to provoke somebody. And either way, somebody, when that smoke clear, somebody going to get a victory. Somebody's going to get a, the victory. They're going to get a, the, the victory. A high honor. Somebody. Capricorn, you or somebody else. Somebody going to get it. Because a high honor is here. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. And I just realized something too. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. I'm, I'm surprised the... Um, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Mm hmm. Bull and Vulture. Came out. Mm hmm. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of. This is a whole bunch of crap drama going on. There's a passionate new beginning here. But it's a whole bunch of drama. It's drama. It's drama. Because do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude, and then vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody could be confused about even accepting a passionate new beginning. Because of this bull and vulture energy. Somebody even somebody's probably not even sure to either pursue or accept some type of ace of wands, some a passionate new beginning. Some type of drama. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Somebody, it's like, I really believe this could be somebody else trying to intimidate somebody. Yeah. Because it's like, somebody got a passionate new beginning here, but they confused. They confused. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead on for time's sake. Let me, let me see if I clarify this bull. Yeah. Number seven, banquet of flowers in absolute indication of long and happy life. Number 37, the rapers warn us against assaults which threaten and will occur sooner or later. Yep. So somebody got a new beginning here. And what it's looking like is when you, while you're, 
battling one thing, it's like something else is um, starting up. Some more drama is starting up. While you're dealing with one thing, some other stuff is coming up. Because it's like, boy, do not back down from opposition. Because it's like somebody having absolute indication of long and happy life. And then it's like, but it's warning you, if you start this passion new, new beginning, warns us against assaults, which threaten and will occur sooner or later. So it's a passionate new beginning here that you, that is saying, don't back down. It's saying don't back down. If you don't back down, it's still, whatever this issue is, whatever this threat and assault is, it's going to happen sooner or later. So just do it anyway. Do it anyway. Take that Ace of Wands, accept it, because whatever this threat is, it's going to happen sooner or later. If you get to this high honor, yeah. Yeah. So it's like Capricorn, if this is you, it's like you got some type of victory. You you know, you accept this ace of wands, you got the ace of wands, but you know something or somebody or possibly even yourself, there is going to be an issue because you accepted this ace of wands. It's still going to be some type of issue coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is more information you need to know came out. Finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. See? Yep. Because this is like this bull and this vulture. This is like somebody who you was in some type of disagreement with. And it's like y'all could have came to some type of... Um, agree, y'all agreed to disagree, but it's like, you know, this person didn't let it go. So, you know, they going to get started again, like something like that. Like, you know, the person that you was in some type of, um, dispute with, it's cool for a little while, whatever, but it's like somebody know that somebody else is not going to let it go later on down the line in the near future. Like this card say. What clarified that finger was this chariot. This chariot is the major arcana for cancer. This could be someone ready and prepared for battle, trying to overcome something, and they got the stamina, the drive, the desire, and the will to conquer and win whatever they charging at, the chariot. What clarified this chariot was this ten of pentacles. So this could be about some money. This could be about a divorce. Somebody had a falling out. They going through a divorce. A business deal went bad. Something, but it's ten pentacles here. This is something going on, um, Capricorn. And this could be a family situation. Somebody could possibly be getting a divorce, breaking up. Um, some type of child support, or this is like a business deal that just went bad. And you know, whoever you was in a relationship with or in business with, whatever happened, somebody might not let it go that easy. Whatever, whatever it is. Because it's like somebody is possibly offended by something. I see tempers. I see temper on this board. Somebody with a temper. Capricorn could possibly be you. Somebody going to have to... I see anger. I see a anger is here. Mm -hmm. I see temptations. I see temper and I see anger. But when I ask for more information about this finger... Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. This strength came out. This is the major arcana for Leo. And this strength.